Hello everyone, my name is Vardhan and I am presenting Capstone Dashboard on behalf of my team. We made this project for University of Alberta and our client Dr. Ildar. Uh, this is an open source project, so feel free to contribute on Open Your Pay. Uh, the repo is available over there. Let's begin the demo. I click on sign in. Uh, it is only Google sign in for now and only authorized email go through it. Uh, once we sign in, we see a dashboard where you can see all the courses that have been created by the user. You can create a course by going on add course, uh, enter the name, whatever structure you want to use, choose a file and then you can create a course. Uh, let's go back to dashboard, let's see an already created uh, course first. Uh, first we see uh, all the teams in that course uh, because this is a caption project. Uh, they are structured in a particular way at UFA, so we are following that structure for now. So you can see uh, the teams over here, the students over here, and you will be able to see the form submissions, the Google form submissions in particular over here. For whatever reasons you want to have like some Google form submissions, they can be easily linked here. And then you go, let's see the teams. Um, when you go to the teams, uh, you can see uh, team info. And their total commits, their average peer review scores. The peer review scores are given to each other uh, by the students on each sprint uh, through a sprint form and then they're converted to a CSV and then they can be added through uh, while you create a sprint. You can also change the sprint to sprint one and to sprint two and the data gets updated according to that. Uh, let's see everything about a particular team. Now I can see all the students of that team, uh, all the commits made by that team, all the meeting minutes. You can also click on a meeting minute and view all the meeting minute information. It, it is automatically passed from MK Docs. Um, and then TA notes. You can add a TA note, delete a TA note and update a TA note. Uh, I'm just going to randomly update one here just to show you a demo. So you can see that the TA note has been added here. You can also create a new one using this button, write anything, create new TA note and the new TA note is created. Let's move to students. Here you can see all the students in a course, all the students uh, peer reviews, ratings or scores and also uh, the same thing in a bar graph. You can also move the uh, boxes. Uh, this, is a, this feature is available on all the pages. I'm just demoing it on this page. Um, you can sort it and you can see the sorted table using this button. You can red flag people or like maybe you wanna see people uh, uh, below a particular mark. For example, I want to see people below 2.5 ratings. So I write in 2.5 and it shows me rating below 2.5. Um, I can see the marks, the name. Now if I want to uh, contact Fatima, I can just type in Fatima, click here Fatima, which one was it? Let's check. It was the second one. And now I have all the information about Fatima. I can see her email, I can just uh, copy the email, email her as a professor. Uh, the use case here is for professors and TAs, I would like to remind that again. Um, so professor can contact the student and see why they are scoring low or like why they are performing low in the class or how can they improve the experience of the student. This can also be sprint dependent, the peer review scores. Um, in our case we have a fixed example uh, so it might not update. Um, let's go back to students. Um, I have demoed you the entire page. We can go back to teams, course. Uh, coming back to course page, we can do a manage course um, in which uh, you can delete the course, delete a sprint. For example, if I want to go ahead and delete sprint three, I'll just type in three and then press OK. And then you will see the sprint three is gone. I can update the dates of a sprint. For example, if I want to change it to November 11, and then choose the file again. Uh, let me see where I, did I keep my file. Probably somewhere here. I can see it right there. I'll upload it, confirm it, and I have updated my Sprint 2 successfully. Now let me update, uh, create the Sprint 3 again. I'll choose a date, let's say December 1 to December 28. Choose the file again. 
I can go in and see this uh, and then confirm again and now we have successfully created this print tree you can see it right there we can also update the roster file I can choose file go to there's also drag and drop functionality here if you want instead of doing this uh, and then I can just press confirm and course data updated successfully nice now I can go back and go to let's go to dashboard and let's create a new course uh, let's say testing one two three uh, I want to use github team structure student experience form uh, I can go ahead choose a roster file again a roster file basically contains all the data of the student um, and then press confirm again and I have created a course successfully and I can see my testing one two three right here I can go in start creating sprints and then I will be able to see all the other data that was it thank you so much for watching this uh, feel free to contact if you want any more information and I'm gonna sign out see you peace